So yeah, so basic you know, inv information. Yeah, you know, the, detail, the, the beauty of this is that, you know, it is a real estate investment trust, so you're actually buying it into the life of the, of the asset. So once you buy it, you own the asset. So it's different from, um, from uh, a bond where you, you actually, you know, paying a, a particular, earning a particular uh, coupon. But if you look at the yield, you know, we've looked at the yield over a period, you know, over a period of 10 years. Um, our expected yield is something in the neighborhood of 17.5 percent, you know, per annum over that period. If you compare that with what Treasury bills, you know, has given you over a comparative period over the last say, 10 years, that's something in the neighborhood of 12 percent. So you're comparing 12 percent to a yield of, you know, close to uh, 18 percent on something that is not only, you know, adding that can create wealth, you know, for the society and also empower, you know, uh, rural development. So on, so on the whole, I mean, basically, you are buying into a fund that provides, that supports the community, uh, as well as giving you, you know, a very high yield compared to what you can earn on comparable yield. In, in terms of tenure, this will be at least 20 years and counting, isn't it? Yes. You, you Minimum. Yes, it's for the life of the fund, so, uh, which is in the number of 30 years to 45 years. Uh, so, so even even as fifty, uh, I can still buy into that. I hope to live up to hundred. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> yes so, so, so if I if I buy into it at fifty, I can still say, well, forty-five years and buy into the old age. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's something. Do you think this is something that will interest the PFAs, the insurance folks, and, and the rest? Do you think retail investors can also say, look, I have about hundred thousand, and I both I, I have somewhere I can lock into this re yeah. uh, risk. Yeah, it is, it's, it's, it's um, a very good investment uh, outlet for pension funds, you know, very clearly, because one, they're looking into the future, into an instrument that gives them increasing yield over the years, you know, uh, into the future. Similarly, for insurance companies and, uh, you know, life insurance and all that, but more importantly, also for the retail, you know, because if you have some funds that you want to set aside, you know, um, for, for future use, this is an interesting instrument because it guarantees you, you know, more or less, uh, consistent yield over the period. But the beauty of this is that we have malls that are already in existence, cash flow already guaranteed. We have anchor tenants like the ShopRite, um, a film house, pep stores, you know, who are anchor tenants in all the four malls. So the, the business is already running? It's already running. So it's not so as if you just want to take this money and just go and think of what to do? No, not at all. We're not taking any, any construction risk. We're not taking any um, building risk. So there's no issue of would you develop the mall? Would you be able to know? We'll be able cash to get flows it, yeah. already exist. Mm. So all we are doing is securitizing these cash flows and selling the cash flows to people who need to end this over the period and freeing that cash flows for the development of fresh malls. Uh, and when this eventually, when it's listed on the stock exchange, uh, I, do I have an opportunity as an investor uh, to the secondary uh, window if I didn't buy in the initial offer? Yes, okay. yes, you do have an opportunity, which is the beauty of listing on the stock exchange. So it creates a secondary market, mm. and we have FSDH, you know, uh, securities as the uh, market maker, you know, for the security as well. So um, uh, as well as reputable institutions backing this up, you know, uh, ARM trustees are the trustees to the offer, and Sambika BTC uh, custodians, you know. So we have quite you know, reputable parties who are backing this, and the whole idea is to create safe, secure instrument, you know, for investors, and where we have guaranteed you know, cash flows you know, that are logged. And one beauty of the investment itself is that the long-term um, anchor tenants actually have long-term contracts which are indexed to the dollar. So even in the face of devaluation, you will see the Naira rate resetting such that your yield will continue to be enhanced. So that is really one of the strong points you know, of this. Uh, guaranteed, <coughs> guaranteed cash flows, um, anchor tenants that are there, and the instrument itself is indexed against the dollar. Yeah, I'm just happy you're talking about <coughs> the, currency, <coughs> the currency risk side yeah. uh, of things there. So, sorry about that. Uh, you, the currency risk of, uh, uh, of, uh, of things. Uh, uh, finally, I asked a question earlier. Uh, I'm not sure you were able to, uh, to, to answer that. You, Lagos, Ibadan, Akure, that's the southwest uh, corridor. Where are you moving to next? North, east, south, south? Um, well, the whole idea is there are opportunities across the country. So we'll continue to look at all these opportunities, <laughs> you know. I was thinking if I read the IPO document, I'm going to see that. <coughs> okay. Is it there? Where um, are you going to expand next? Again, the focus of this is 
is a restructure of existing, of the existing ones. Yes. facilities. We're purchasing okay. existing facilities. Mm. Once these existing facilities are purchased, the idea then is we can expand the fund, you know, to look at new ones. Okay. New areas. Oh, so this is just a cutting razor, as it were. Exactly. So you're still coming back? Yes, we're still coming back. I'm sure. A 20 billion era. Mm -hmm. uh, it's never, uh, it <laughs> looks like a lot of money to someone like me, but someone like you, who has done... <laughs> 500 million euro <laughs> bond <laughs> in the past. I'm sure. I'm sure. Even with today's ex even past that exchange rate back then, that was a lot of naira yes. on on the table. <laughs> so 20 billion, you can always do another one uh, uh, out of that. But, but basically, uh, uh, in conclusion, the real estate investment trust fund in Nigeria, historically speaking, uh, what do you think had been the downside that you think this uh, fund would try to sidestep to deliver? Okay, I think the biggest um, problem that we've seen with the previous ones, the fact that, which is not a problem, you know, but that was also disclosed to the investors at that time, were that the funds were coming out to raise funds to develop properties. properties. Mm. And in any development, you know, they will expect to see some inherent issues, you know, delays in construction, um, cost overruns, you know, and all those. Legal tussles. Legal tussles and all those. CFOs, in this, exactly, issues. all those issues. Mm. In our own case, all the four malls, you know, have minority stakeholders who are, you know, government, you know, entities who have concessioned this, you know, to top services. So really, you are not having all those title issues. The, 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 the projects already exist. We are not taking any construction risks. You know, so all we're doing so is looking at strong cash flow. Goes high or you know, lower, you're, not, you're not bothered. But it's not an issue for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an issue for us. Cement, iron <laughs> rod, and, and things like that. It's not okay. an issue for Everything us. Everything's on the phone. It's good to see you again. Thank uh, you we very hope much. to see more <laughs> of you. Thank uh, you. We wish you all the best as far as the 20 billion is concerned. That's a lot of money. I'm sure folks on the streets now would want to key in. Thank, Thank you.